Happy Mom Monday, it's Jessica with chalkitupptocrop.com slash mom. Today we're gonna talk about music. That was really off, but you get the point. Let's talk about how music affects childhood literacy. So, I brought my guitar out today because I bring it out for my kids quite often. They love singing, and singing develops a vocabulary. It engages part of the brain that isn't normally firing those synapses and neurons and all the things that are going on neurologically. Things are lighting up if you show an MRI, the kid listening to music, and that's fantastic, and that's what we want. We also want to encourage creativity. So a lot of the things that we do in my house is we take melodies that we know and put our own words to it as part of playtime and just being silly and having fun. And that is such an important part of childhood literacy, right? Having fun, singing, playing, and being silly. Silly kids are more creative, which means that they're better problem solvers and critical thinkers. If you want to know more about that, check out the video that is from the last week. I want to just give you guys a couple of activities that I do at home that might be helpful for you. So if you are a guitar player, the chords that you're going to need for this song is A, D, A, E, A. So. There's three chords, e, um, e minor, A, and D minor, D, B, not D minor, D. So I'm teaching you those chords because we are going to sing the ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, which is fine. So it's not about sounding good. It's about building early childhood literacy, right? So that's always a go-to song. Now you know the chords, sing it a lot, have fun with it. And the way that I like to have the most fun with it is by taking the structure for C is for cookie and doing the entire alphabet. And I'm not gonna do that today because that might be boring for you, but it's fun for your kids. And it teaches them the sounds of the letters, right? So C is for cookie. So um, you're gonna go to your G chord, C chord, D chord, back to your C chord, back to the D chord, and then G. Okay. So instead of always doing C is for cookie, it's good enough for me. C is for cookie, it's good enough for me. C is for cookie, it's good enough for me. Oh, cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. You're gonna start with A, and you're gonna come up with whatever you want. I highly recommend sticking with the ah, ah, ah sound because that is gonna help them the most when they first start reading easy letters like k, a, t, s, at. Okay. A is for apple. Ah, 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 apple. B is for bubble. Ba, 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 bubble. C is for cookie. It's good enough for me. Oh, cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. Then we'll move on to da, D. Dog. <laughs> D is for dog. Da, 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 da. E is for elephant, e -e 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 elephant. You get it. <laughs> so taking melodies, transforming them, and making them something new, making them fun, and it's building their literacy by teaching them sounds. Now, 
Do you have to always focus on letters and sounds of letters and how the letters make words? No! Stop it! You can do any song. You can do any kid's song, any adult song. We do lots of Black Sabbath in this house. We do cranberries. We do whatever it is we feel like. And we also do lots of Disney songs. Whatever it is that day that we feel like listening to, as long as there's no cuss words or anything that we feel is inappropriate for our kids, because it's ultimately up to the parents as to what they want to expose their children to, right? So thank you guys for tuning in to this wonderful day of music and fun on this Mom Monday. I'm Jessica Senesak. Check us out next Mom Monday, and we'll see what's going to happen then. I don't even know. But remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.